thing today, the Rock Cycle Lab demonstrated two chocolate chips. Okay, we got white chocolate here. That's gonna be a sedimentary rock. By looking at the color, someone raise their hand and tell me what could this could represent. Uh, the, uh, green? Not, not green. Sandstone. Not sandstone. Limestone. Limestone. Okay, write that down in your first box. Limestone. The next one is going to be butterscotch. All right, look at the flip, uh, look at the color in me. Color, what do you think? Sandstone. Sandstone, write that in the second box. And then last, the igneous rock, so what can it represent? Basalt. Basalt, all right, so please write down basalt in your third box. All right, the limestone is going to be remains of sea creatures that their shells were deposited into the ocean and compacted and cemented. Sandstone is going to be rocks that are rather eroded and deposited. And igneous rock is made from magma cooling very quickly and makes up 90% of Earth's crust. A processor. It is used to blend and cut up food. Okay, so you can make salsa with it. It's like a dessert. It's awesome. So today we're going to use our processor and we're going to represent the rocks from chocolate chips. And we're going to demonstrate the rock cycle lab. Okay, so in a second I'm going to put on the top here. Alright, and this processor is going to break down these larger chocolate chips into very small chocolate chips. Show me with your hands without saying the answer what that is. Awesome. All right, so we're going to start it. Right, we'll so those chocolate chips are broken down into really small pieces. What pieces represent, are represented here, class? Sediment. Okay, so these smaller pieces oh. are going to be sediment. All right, what you're going to pretend is that up here is going to be a mountain, okay, and the rocks are from the very top of the mountain, all right, and they are slowly and gradually, due to a few different things like wind, ice, water, gravity, are slowly moving. So without shouting out the answer, please show me with your hand the answer to me moving, my love, to your desk. Show me with your hand. Awesome. All right, and then number three on the lab, all right, says the teacher places the rocks, okay? When I place the rocks onto your tinfoil, that's going to be beneath their surface, show me with your hand. All right, show me with your hand without saying out the answer. All right, so what I'm looking for is for students that have the answers to one, two, and three on their second page with a picture of real world situation, and I will bring you guys chocolate. Thank you. Okay, so our butterscotch has been blended. All right, show me with your hands what process that is. Awesome. All right. So that's not going to be written in your lab, but just know that that's what, what it is. It's going to be, what, what is it, class? Weathering. Weathering. All right. Then I'm going to come around, and I'm going to move the rocks from my lab table to your desk. Show me with your hand what that represents. Awesome. So that's the answer number four. And then when I place them on your tin foil, show me with your hand the answer. Awesome. All right. I'm looking for students that have one through five answered for them to receive butterscotch. All right. I just put the limestone in the processor. What process was the breaking down of the rocks? Don't just say it. Weathering. Weathering. Okay. All right. I'm about to come around, or I'm about to come around and check uh, to make sure you guys have number six and seven written down. Number six, the movement of the rock from my lab to your desk. Show me with your hands. All right. And then as I place it on your tinfoil, show me with your hands. All right. I'm looking for students that have the answer. One through seven. Came around, okay, and deposited the rocks. We layered them one on top of the other, okay? So right now, this is the real world and Earth. Which one will be receiving the most amount of pressure? Dylan. Um, uh, basalt. Basalt, yes, the chocolate one. Okay, so pressure from other rocks layering one on top of the other is going to start causing that compaction and cementation of our first rock. This is what I want you guys to do. I want you to fold top to bottom. Well, top to bottom so you make a long tin foil line and then you're going to fold right to left and you're going to keep it oh on your desk when I say and when I say go in a few seconds you're going to stand up on your desk you're going to take both hands without hitting the desk you're going to start pushing down on your tin foil pack packet so start pushing down until I say stop all right you guys can begin Uh, 
some heat, heat from the earth. All right. Now I'm pressing with this plate. What does that represent? Restroom. All right, I'll come call you up in a little bit. Okay, guys, so we went over to the, our hot plate and we applied what? Fresh pressure. pressure. Heat and pressure. Did we completely melt the chocolate? No. no. If it was completely melted rock, what would it become? Magma. Magma, but we did not melt it. All right, we applied heat and pressure, so they bonded together, so we made a different type of rock that's actually very well foliated. What rock did we make? Uh, metamorphic. metamorphic. Remember, there was only pressure.